to Patology. So just in case you didn't catch my video last month and you don't know what SipSpy is, SipSpy is a monthly tea subscription box that comes right to your door and it will send you four different types of tea based on a tea profile that you fill out on their website. It essentially is all catered to you and to your taste. You even get to pick things like your caffeine level preference, if you like chais or floral teas, different things like that, which is really fun. Also, a little update on my last box for the month of March. I had a allergic reaction to one of the teas that was in my box, which is very surprising to me. I don't really have any allergies. Um, and so I emailed the company and just told them what happened and what tea it was and how I reacted. I had some facial um, edema and felt tingling in my throat and had to get the Benadryl out kind of thing. And I even tried it twice and had the same reaction both times so we knew that it was the tea for sure. And the company responded within 24 hours and told me that they would make sure that ingredient is not in any of my future tea subscription boxes. So very awesome customer service with SipSpy. Let's jump right into it. This is my April box. It is beautifully catered just to me and my preferences. I like a mixture of caffeine levels and loose leaf and bagged tea. I always like to reference this sheet that comes with the box. As you can see, it is made specifically for me and it tells me everything I need to know about my teas. So the first thing you will see in your Sips by box if you are receiving a loose leaf tea are these biodegradable, um, tea sachets. So not only do you get this reusable bag for your tea, but you also get all of these bags inside that are disposable, which is very handy. So the first tea in my box for the month of April is a tea called um, Get Wellness. It's an herbal tea for immunity. It says, a chew. Let's face it, we live in a world of germs, but instead of letting them get you down, why not get defensive? So all about that nurse and a germaphobe at your service. So I'll probably probably be drinking lots of this. Um, it is caffeine free and already in a tea bag, which is very convenient. The flavor notes of this wellness tea are uh, rubos, licorice, um, European elderberries, cloves, cardamom, and natural spices. So it sounds almost like a chai, but a herbal chai. Get yourself some Get Wellness. Try it out. Next up, we have the Dandelion Mocha Mint made with organic herbs. So this is labeled as a prebiotic. It's acid-free, gluten-free, and caffeine-free. So this is another herbal tea um, by Ticino, T-E-E-C-C-I-N-O. It's a roasted herbal tea. That is very interesting. So it says the ingredients are organic carob, chicory, dandelion root, dates, almonds, mocha flavor, cocoa powder, peppermint leaf figs, and peppermint oil. And there's a warning that it contains almonds. So this is fascinating. I've never had a, I guess, nut-based tea other than the normal types that are in teas. So this will be very interesting to try. And then according to the printout information on the dandelion mocha mint, it says that this is a divine blend that helps with digestion, gut health, and inflammation. Bada bing, done with that one. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but each tea comes in four servings. So you get to try them out a few different times, including the loose leaf. You will have a couple of different servings with this as well, as long as you follow the serving sizes on this card. So speaking of loose leaf, next up we have a tea by Davidson's Organic, and it is the Tropical Green. The ingredients are green tea, chamomile, carob, natural flavors, uh, calendula flowers, and safflower. This says that it is low caffeine because it's a green tea. Of course, it still has a little bit of a caffeine kick. This says a perfect tea to welcome warmer weather. It's a tropical green, which is bright, refreshing brew with tropical fruit and citrus flavors. Enjoy hot or iced. So that's always fun if you can try them warm or cold and have it kind of play to both of those flavors that the temperatures draw out. 
So this will be fun to try this one as well with the provided uh, tea bags that they give. So last but certainly not least then, we have the Pinky Up Dolce de Leche tea. And I have had one of their teas before, which I believe is the like black macaroon or something like that, which is more of an Earl Grey tea. And I love it. I have it in my cupboard right now in the loose leaf form. And this is also a loose leaf tea. It is a black tea with caramel and almonds, which sounds like dessert, so that's awesome. Um, the little information tells us that K-Rub is added to this tea and gives it a malty richness and offers boosts of antioxidants. Bits of almond and brittle create a sweet roasty finish like dark caramel, yum. So it looks like these are my only true caffeinated teas. Although my other green tea has a tiny bit of caffeine, these are the only ones that will actually give me quite a bit of a boost. So it's kind of fun, I think, to have a variety of those um, caffeine levels and just a variety of these flavors. We have wellness teas, we have licorice teas, we have caramel teas, green teas. It's just kind of a fun assortment to play with throughout the month. So there you have it, my April Sips by Box. If you would like to try this box out for yourself, feel free to use my code in the description box below. You will get $5 off your very first shipment, and that is quite, quite a bit of money off considering that it is only a $15 a month box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried any of these teas or if you already get the Sips by subscription box and you had something different in your box this month that you would like to share. Let me know. I'm all about that tea community. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful start to spring. Bye guys. Hey guys, I thought I would just pop back on here super quick to tell you what I actually thought of each tea that I tried for my April box. And I have my trusty sidekick here to help me out. All right, it's ready? Say hello. Does anyone else out there have extremely sensitive skin where you literally just touch it once and then you have an immediate rash? Eczema society. Anyway, <laughs> so I thought I would go over the teas that I liked and did not like so much. My least favorite tea, starting off with that one because that's the one I'm always most interested in when I watch other people's videos. And kind of surprisingly, it was the Mocha Dandelion uh, mint one. It just had too much going on. There were too many flavors and it was honestly almost too pungent, even the smell, that it was hard to put on the palate. It was almost like it should have been a coffee, but it was accidentally made into a tea. On that note, my second to least favorite, or my third favorite, depending on which way you look at it, I guess, was the Get Wellness Tea. This was just a classic, um, pretty delicious, but very plain, I would say, um, tea. It didn't have any outrageous flavors. It was just kind of nice, like calming tea. And I can see myself drinking it because of the benefits that I talked about earlier in the video. Nothing special, but nothing bad. Moving on from that was my second favorite, and that would be the green tea blend. I love this one. I think it was very good, especially with a little dab of honey. So it kind of takes away the strongness and the like more pungent green tea flavors. So in order to have those not so hard hitting, I always add a little bit of honey and I really like this one. Very good, just bold green tea flavors, which a good tea lover really appreciates. And then we have my absolute favorite of this box, which was the Pinky Up Tea. It was so good and just caramely richness it really was just a solid dessert tea. And honestly, those are hard to find because a lot of people just throw so much just into it, too many ingredients, too many sweeteners. They try just odd things that kind of tilter the balance of the solid dessert mouthwatering flavors. But the Pinky Up Tea did a very good job at this. And for that, I have made it my favorite for the month of April. So thank you guys once again for watching and we will catch you next month.